everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to do a Q&A. On Instagram I did a poll and I asked for people to send me some questions. Because um, I'm actually filming on my phone and I wrote down all the questions on a book. Just because, you know, I completely forgot about that I need to you know, read out the questions. Got a top on and now looking at it, I think it's gonna be really annoying because it's like, it's not even, it's like creased, but it's not creased. It's like meant, this is like the design of the top. By the way, if you can hear any like rattling noises, it's my dog like running around. So let's just, yeah, pretend that's not happening. First question is, would you do to stay positive? To stay positive, I don't, I don't do specific things. Whenever I'm negative, I just try to think of all the people that are like ill, in hospital, or you know, people that don't have any water or food, and I just think how grateful I am for, even though I might not have all the you know the luxury things and stuff, I just think how grateful I am to you know just to have food and to have a house and stuff. So that's how I stay positive, I guess. What foundation do you use? Or do I use? I've got so many different foundations, so I don't really know. Um, I think I'm using right now Rimmel, Rimmel 25 hour stay foundation or whatever it's called. Can't remember what shade to be honest, but I mix like loads of different ones. I don't know, is it a bit dark for me? No, I don't know. But yeah, I use like two different ones and then I've got about 20 plus foundations. So it's just kind of every day I just do different ones, I guess. I just, whatever I feel like I just kind of mix in. But yeah, the Rimmel 25 hour stay one's quite good. What's your biggest fear? Um, my biggest fear is spiders. I think I've answered that before in another video. Um, but yeah, spiders. Why is it whenever I do these question things and ask for questions on Instagram, someone always has to say, why are you at Fortnite? Well, thanks. I don't, I don't ever know how to answer that. Next question is, I've kind of combined them together and it was, would you ever move back to your country and how long have you lived here for? Um, I think I've lived here for 14 years, 14, 15 years now. And no, I would never move back to live there. Um, I really like going back. I'm like, I can't even speak my own like Lithuanian. I should have said that before, but I can't speak very fluently anymore. I understand what people are saying to me, but I can't really speak much. So like moving there and living there would just, no. I'm just so used to like the UK now and my friends and family and stuff mostly are up here. So yeah, I would never move back, but yeah, I like visiting it and I, I like to visit like the country there at least once a year. Safe holiday destination. So like beach or city kind of holiday. I'd say, I don't know, I hate walking. So, but then I like seeing things. So I kind of, I do like the city holidays because you get to like see loads of different things and take pictures. But I think I do prefer beach holidays just because I like to like, I'm always, I like being in the water all the time. I don't really like to tan because I don't really tan. I just burn anyway. So um, yeah, I like beach holidays just so you can relax and you know, chill by the pool or go to the beach. Yeah. Summer or winter? Winter. That's a good question. When it's summer, I'm always like, oh, I can't wait for it to be cold. I can't wait to know where like, jumpers and all that stuff but then when it's winter i'm like oh my god i hate the cold and it's so cold i just want it to be hot um so yeah i kind of i do like the summer i think i think i prefer the summer just because i feel like you can go out to more places and do more things favorite youtuber i don't really have a favorite youtuber you really have to play with your toy right now i don't have a favorite i watch like two or three no i watch like five or like five or six youtubers all the time um like saffron barker um, Imogen, Imagination, I watched Demi, Demi Donnelly, I think that's her name. Favourite alcoholic drink? I like the Serrano, that's my favourite alcoholic drink. And then I do like some cocktails as well, but I'm quite fussy, I don't really like to drink much, as everyone knows. But yeah, I don't really like trying new things as well, but I would like to, I'd like to stick to the things I know that I taste, taste, taste good. I don't drink just to get drunk, while most people do, or you know, just to drink loads and loads. I like to drink something that actually tastes good because what's I don't know I don't force myself to drink drinks that are not nice like vodka and stuff how can you like that like vodka and coke it's okay but I just wouldn't drink that loads of it because why are you drinking something you, it, that tastes like <laughs> do you know what I mean like clearly no one likes vodka like come on 
people can't say they like vodka because how can you like it? It smells like nail varnish and it just tastes so disgusting. The next question I had about four different people ask me kind of the same, same kind of question, but like different format. Um, it's about lockdown. Like, are you enjoying lockdown? What's your opinion on lockdown? What are you doing in lockdown? So I just got quite a few questions like that. Been off work from March now. And the f when, the first, when the first lockdown came along, I was a bit like, I was quite worried. I was a bit like, oh, I just want to go back to work. I don't, I don't want to not be at work and stay at home. And then when the summer kind of came along and when more things were opening, I thought, oh, it's okay. it's okay, it's not too bad. And then I was meant to go back to work, but then lockdown came along again. So now I don't even know when I'll be going to work, to be honest, um, which is a bit, I don't know. I mean, it gives me more time to do YouTube videos, something that I've always wanted to do for ages, as like an extra little hobby kind of thing, I'd say. But at the same time, I'm not liking lockdown because I hate sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. That's like my worst thing. It's like I have to always be doing something or other than that, I will literally, if I'm not doing anything, I will just sit and watch TV for the rest of the day and do absolutely nothing, which I think is just such a waste of day. And I like to make memories and I like to go out. So, um, so yeah, the lockdown is a bit annoying because like like cinemas are closed, most shops are closed, which I like to do just to walk around and stuff. But other than that, I'm actually okay. It's actually gone, this whole year has just gone so quick. Like I was meant to go on so many holidays this year and they've obviously all been canceled, bit sad. But at least I can say that I've been abroad twice this year, which is good because it's like, it's like my thing. I have to go somewhere every year. I'm grateful that I got to go on holiday in March and then I got to go in May for a few days abroad so yeah i'm happy about that in general lockdown's been a bit boring um yeah it's just a bit sad that you like don't really get to see your friends much or you can't really you can't really do anything like when everything's shut you're just like what do i do the only thing you can go to for fun is like tesco's or something but then you don't want to go there because it's always really busy but yeah, that's the only like, you can only either go for exercise or like to Tesco's or just, you know, to a supermarket. And that's as fun as your life gets when it's locked down. Your favorite candle scent. I do love candles. Like, oh, it's amazing. I think my favorite would be either vanilla or cherry slash watermelon kind of scent. How rude is it for someone to call me on a random number when I'm in the middle of filming? Anyone else just don't answer random numbers because I never do. What, what I do is I let it ring and then I just Google who it is because I just, I think if it's important, they'll leave a voicemail. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna answer random numbers. The light just keeps going really dark and really light. My favorite clothing brand. I don't think I have a favorite clothing brand. My favorite online one would probably be like Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo, you know typical i do like zara it's got quite good quality because it's just so expensive sometimes so i don't know i do like primark they do quite a lot of quite good things to be honest even though it's on the cheaper side but then i think the prices have gone up i feel like primark used to be so much cheaper than it is now but um yeah i do love a bit of primark they've got like all the basic things that i like in there what is your dream car i don't know and I'm, most people will probably be like, oh, Range Rover and stuff like that. Someone said to me, you can buy any car right now you want. I wouldn't say like Lamborghini and Ferrari and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just more basic. My dream car would probably be like a, a sporty Audi or something like that. Like an Audi like S5. I've got a Mercedes A-Class right now. I just look because I was just looking at it through the window. Yeah, sure, I've had it for a few years, so it's like a little... It still drives and I'm not looking for a new car at the moment. I did want one like last year or something, but I thought this one's still like, it looks okay, it looks nice. And I've only had it for like two years. So I thought, why, why do I need a new car? I keep going off topic. So I, yes, I did end up saying what my dream car is, but then I just ended up talking nonsense. Someone asked about children, if I wanted, if I want any children and how many. I don't even want to think about that right now. I'm only 21. Don't want any kids anytime soon. I'd always, I'd only ever want kids if I ever had kids to like when I move out and stuff and when I have my own house and when I've got enough money because it's like I don't really get people that have kids. I mean, I don't really want to give my my opinion too much just in case some people might have a go at me or judge me for it. I can have my own opinion as so many other people can, but I would, ne I would never have a kid if I'm still living at my parents, like my parents' house or anything. I just think you can't, if you can't afford to move out, then why would you have a kid? 
but you know my opinion no one needs to judge me for that to be honest so um but yeah how many children if i yeah so if i had children and stuff i'd probably have like two or three that is not something i'm looking to do or anything like that um yeah anytime soon favorite skin brand do you know what i um I wish I, I wish I had a favorite skin brand and focused on one brand, but the thing is I have like, I have like cleansers and like moisturizers and oils and stuff like that are a different brand. I've not even used ones that are like all the same, does that make sense? So I could not say what my favorite skin brand is because all the things I have are all different brands. So yeah. That's, yeah, that's probably something I couldn't answer. And another question was, what do you want for Christmas? Or, or what do I want for Christmas? I'm actually really fussy when it comes to presents. I know that sounds like I'm like such a person. Um, but yeah, I'm just fussy. But then I'm grateful for anything I get or if I get anything as well. So I'm like really grateful. I do not want for Christmas is candles. Even though I love candles, like I said, I love candles. But I've just got so many and I've got so many like stacked up in my drawers that I've, I'm like probably leaving for another time or like I'm, I like the look of candles but then I only burn like a certain amount. It's got to the point where I got those for my birthday and like for Christmas and all that little stuff um, which I'm grateful for and stuff but at the same time most of them are like just in my drawer and it's like hidden away because I haven't got that much room in my room to like display them all. So at the same time, when I, ha I have my own house, you know, in the future, eventually, whenever that is, if I ever move out, um, that's when I'm like, oh yeah, I'll have candles because I have more room to display them all, like in the house, around the house, everywhere. But now when I have my own little like room, I'm like, there's nowhere to put anywhere, like the candles, a bit of a waste, does that make sense? Because I'm only going to use them when I like run out of my other ones. But yeah, I just stack loads of candles up and then they're all just like in my drawer. So it's like all hidden away. So that's something I would not want. But getting back to the actual question that was asked, what do, I, what do I want for Christmas? Yeah, I don't know. Every year I'll go like this. I'm like, I don't actually know what I want. My little dog wanted to come say hello. Well, he was trying to get on the sofa. He say hello, he say hello, hello, hello. He's so cute, aren't you cute? Yeah, you are, yeah, you are. You smell like a white dog. Someone said, you're so beautiful. Oh, that's really cute. Do you have a boyfriend? And yes, I do. And I don't know what else to say to that. The last question is, where do you get your nails done? Which is very random, but thanks for the question. Um, so I get my nails done, it's just um, somewhere like in my town that this one's broke. So I just got, um, cause I've got my own nail kit at home. Um, I don't want to get too much into it, but I've got my own nail kit because over lockdown, the very first lockdown, I was like, oh, I want to start doing my own nails because obviously I don't know how long I won't be able to get to like a nail salon. I bought myself like a nail lamp, like quite a good one. I bought like loads of nail like and um, polish and like quite a bit of the kit like the drill and stuff and I was doing it for a bit and then I just, I just thought it's such a waste of time not a waste of time because I wasn't doing anything but it's just so much effort on doing your nails where I know it's so much cheaper to do your own nails and stuff like that especially because I've got everything now but it's just it just doesn't turn out the same unless I was qualified and I actually did some kind of nail lessons and stuff and I think that would be quite handy to do my own thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me answering all the questions that I received and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone